The following video is a conceptual illustration of the interventional procedure for connecting an arteriovenous graft using the intergraft vascular anastomotic connector system. In clinical use, the procedure is performed using fluoroscopic guidance for precise positioning of the venous and arterial intergraft connectors within a vein and artery. The video illustrates the preparation of an upper arm arteriovenous vascular access graft using the axillary vein and brachial artery. The video begins showing a synthetic vascular graft already tunneled under the skin. The graft is tunneled in a standard manner, through skin incisions that are made over the planned venous outflow and arterial inflow anastomosis sites. The venous and arterial intergraft connectors are placed through these same incision sites. The venous intergraft connector is placed first. The venotomy site is selected and vascular access is obtained. A vascular sheath, shown in brown, is introduced, and a guide wire is placed across the site where the connector will be deployed. The venous intergraft delivery system, shown in blue, is inserted over the guide wire and positioned at the deployment site. The sheath is removed, then the delivery system is retracted to deploy the venous connector. The connector self-expands as it is deployed, and the venous end of the connector is flared to accommodate the vein diameter and allow for venous dilatation following establishment of the graft circuit. The connector exits from the vein at the venotomy site. As the connector is fully deployed outside of the vein, the connector end is gently grasped and compressed with fingers and inserted within the graft. At this point, the graft and venous connector are flushed with a heparinized saline solution, and the graft is clamped during placement of the arterial intergraft connector. Next, the arteriotomy site is selected and vascular access is obtained. A vascular sheath, shown in brown, is introduced, and a guide wire is placed across the site where the connector will be deployed. The arterial intergraft delivery system, shown in red, is inserted over the guide wire and positioned at the deployment site. The delivery system also includes a positioning balloon. The uninflated positioning balloon is advanced so that it is located a few millimeters downstream from the tip of the red delivery system catheter. The sheath is removed. Then the delivery system is carefully retracted to deploy only the tine portion of the connector. Next, the positioning balloon is inflated and retracted to engage the tines. The balloon and tines are gently retracted together so that the tines are flush with the artery wall. With the red delivery catheter positioned perpendicular to the longitudinal axis of the artery, the arterial connector is fully deployed by retracting the delivery system. The positioning balloon remains in place, securing the tines at the inner artery wall as deployment is completed. After the connector is fully deployed outside of the artery, the positioning balloon is deflated and removed. The end of the connector is gently grasped and compressed with fingers, and then inserted within the graft. The graft is unclamped, thereby completing the arteriovenous shunt. The skin incisions are closed using standard suturing methods. To perform hemodialysis, the graft is punctured with two needles. Blood from the outflow needle is directed to the dialyzer. The dialyzed blood is returned to the body through the inflow needle.